morning. Time to do my Greek bakery food haul. Let's go. So yes, I bought all of this and there's still stuff there as well because we had to get more than just one of everything. We've got to give some to my mum and dad. We wanted some in the car. We're going to want some for later and possibly tomorrow. So when we go, we go. Let's start with the pies. So we've got the four main pies and I'm going to tell you what they are and I'm going to tell you how they taste. Starting with a classic diropita, which is a cheese pie. It's just layers of usually mazithra and feta, but I think this one is just feta. Everything is in phyllo. It's got to be in phyllo. So this is the first one. Did you hear the crunch? It is so nice. It's got that salty kick to it. The feta is so creamy inside. I just spat them. Now it's not overly salty. I know a lot of people might think it is because it's feta, but it's not. It's brilliantly lovely and creamy and it works amazingly with the crispy phyllo. So this one's the spanakopita, which is spinach and cheese. And again, you can see all the layers of phyllo in there. I have actually made this on my page. There's a recipe on here somewhere, but you can't beat the ones from the bakery. Let's go. Listen to the crunch. Mmm. A lot of people get icked out because it's spinach. Well, I wouldn't eat spinach by itself. I just wouldn't. It's not for me. But when it's mixed in here with the feta and the mint and the oregano and everything they put into it, it just takes it to another level. And it tastes amazing. Don't be put off by the fact it's green. Give it a go. Try it. Trust me. It's really good. This one's the godobita, which is a chicken pie. Now, this will vary from bakery to bakery. Everyone will have a different recipe for it. The same with all the pies. Everyone will have a slightly different recipe. This one's reddish inside, which I'm guessing is from red peppers and maybe paprika. Let's try it. This one, you can tell it's a khodiyakiko one, which is a village one, because it's full of vegetables as well. I can taste the leeks, the peppers, onions. I can taste the paprika. It's got feta in here as well. It is just so full of flavour. It is... It's more flavourful than the others because this one's got so many more aspects to it. And again, crunchy phyllo. Now this one is just the VIP. This one is a burrata, which is basically like a vanilla custard inside of a flaky pastry. And it usually has cinnamon powder sugar on top. Obviously when it's been in the bag, it's rubbed off. When you get it fresh from the bakery and when it's slightly warm, it's amazing. But this one... It is the best. It is honestly, try it, you'll never go back. I'm gonna taste it and tell you what it's like. Oh, it is just got such a almondy vanilla kick with the silky smooth custard on the inside. It is a must try. Now, I didn't think I'd have to do this, but it's food, so I'm talking a lot. Come back for part two and I'll review the rest.